raise your hand if you are friends with any former teachers from high school. Me too. Um, I believe that teachers, a lot of teachers that you're really cool with throughout high school, you become friends with them on Facebook because you created that special bond with them. However, there are still teachers that um, become friends with their students while they're still their students, which I believe is kind of wrong. So, students and teachers on social media can stir up inappropriate conversations. Um, they, it can, students can share personal information to teachers and it can affect how students are treated. There's a lot of uh, student-teacher relationships, like I've seen, there was one actually at my school where it carried on for about a year until it, they figured out that it was um, a problem. And it, the teacher didn't actually get in trouble since they found out after she graduated, but still everyone in the school knew and they did not really talk good about the girl and it just became a huge problem with her social life. And how it can be a problem with personal info being shared is to students can, like we have technology nowadays where we can just screenshot and send out uh, what a tweet is or what a picture is. And if a teacher posts something embarrassing, if a student can just screenshot it, take a picture of it and send it to all their friends saying, hey, look what Mrs. So-and-so did today. And, and um, that can actually get them in trouble. <clears throat> and social media can affect how a student is treated because they can be, too, Teachers can be biased towards their opinions, their views, and who they were, really are as a person. So this is actually the expectations. We've been kind of, uh, our society's kind of been like, for a student-teacher relationship, that's what the expectation is with Pretty Little Liars. Like, we've seen that and the, the, how they worked out. But in reality, that's really what it looks like. So we have these. These are a few tweets that could kind of be embarrassing towards uh, teachers. So this teacher could actually get in trouble because they're talking about a student and talking about how they need to they um, how the student is kind of a hot mess but so sweet. That could get them in trouble because that's none of uh, her fault, her friend's business. Um, this one she could definitely get in trouble because she's talking about stabbing some kids, and we all know that if a kid tweets about. Um, stabbing or shooting up a school, they get in trouble. So that would be a huge threat to um, her job. And that one right there, that's an example of a student teacher relationship because she says, I don't want to fall in love with, I don't want you to fall in love with me, but I also don't want you to hit it and quit it either. And that's kind of, you know, it's a, it's a little immature for a teacher to say. So these are examples of teachers that are kind of exposed as to who they are. We all know the tweets that um, celebrities read out tweets that are about them, so this teacher is reading out tweets about them. This one is Mr. Jones. He has a pickle that he has throughout classes, and he, they say, why is Mr. Jones so obsessed with pickles? That could be embarrassing towards a teacher because it could just be something he enjoys. And sharing it across social media can just kind of be embarrassing. That one is Mr. Kern needs to cut that piece of hair off before I get up and snip it off. <laughs> that I've seen stuff like that before, like throughout high school I've seen a lot of people tweet about stuff like that and I I thought it was wrong because you know he can't really do anything about it, that's just his style. And this one, it was just normal, just him saying he looks like the sun emoji, kind of making fun of his looks. <clears throat> So how it can affect how can it affect teacher-student relationships? It can definitely affect um, students and teachers being friends on f social media can affect their relationship. Like, for instance, a teacher can be friends with a student and they can end up being gay, or they can end up having religious views that the teachers don't agree with. That teacher can kind of take out their view, like their disagreement with their views on them, and they could be rude to them in the classroom. It can affect their grades. It can also um, be, they can also pick on them throughout school, uh, the class, and that would kind of be just, that would kind of create like um, emotional trust issues for the student. However, there are pros to having a student teacher, well, having friends, having 
students on social media. There's a lot of teachers that create two uh, accounts so they can have, so they can share information with their students, you know, about homework assignments and everything. And I believe that you can be friends with your teachers on Facebook if it's only about school. If it's only an account about school, no personal, inf personal information shared, no relationships, no nothing, just professional. And that's why I believe that a petition should be signed that uh, at the beginning of the sc every school year that it is a rule that no teachers should be friends on, in, with students on uh, social media. And this is just a picture of um, how teachers can um, have an uh, account on social media without it being uh, personal.